Hi guys, so today Grace has been helping me wash the dishes. Thank you. And we're having a delicious what do we call it? Brunch. Yes, we're having brunch. So let me show you guys what we're having. Yes, yeah, so we're having fried eggs, fried sausages. Not the healthiest option, I can tell. Not the healthiest, but in this season of lockdown. Mm, indomie and tuna tuna sandwich and those ones are busy making us can you stop making us please thank you so that's what we're having the indomie is still cooking i fried the sausage the eggs are already fried and so we're just going to have this delicious brunch and of course with water no tea no juice just healthy water something healthy at least I hope you guys will enjoy this with us and I hope you are keeping safe wherever you are. Don't forget to wash your hands and stay safe. Oh guys, I forgot to mention, the Indomie has spaghetti and macaroni. So I mixed Indomie, spaghetti, macaroni and tuna sandwich. And of course we'll be taking it with the eggs and the sausage. This is going to be a yummy brunch. Yummy, yummy brunch. My children like it a bit watery, right guys? Yeah. They like it a bit watery, not so dry. So, let me just allow it to cook for some time. And we go and eat. Oh no, whenever someone takes a picture of Hello guys, so we are trying to make dinner now. I uh, have like cow food and I've already sliced it. It's pre-cooked, kind of, but I'm still going to recook it. This is cow food sliced. This is cow head sliced with tomato and some stock fish. So I'm going to add this into it. This is the cow head I cut it from. I just cut half of it. So I'm just going to add in the cow food now. And I'm going to season it with salt pepper and um, chicken cube so i'm going to let it boil actually we're trying to make vegetable soup vegetable soup so i'm just going to put this pour in water and my spices and i'm going to let it cook <laughs> right so i just poured in water now to the level of the um, meat so next i'm going to put in salt chicken cube and sometimes I like to put a little bit of um, pepper soup spice. And I'm also going to put in some onions. So I'm going to cover it up after doing that and just let it cook, okay? So stay with me, guys. So I also decided to put in some locust beans or iru. We call it iru. Just a little bit of that. Into it. I've already put in the sauce, the chicken cube. So I just put in the locust beans, cover it, and let it do its thing. Now I'm putting 
bread, dry pepper. This pepper is not too much because I don't want some people to be eating every day. Can someone please reduce that volume? Right. I'm just washing the vegetable and I'm going to put it now in the meat. So we've put in the vegetable and I'm going to come back to mix it. The pot is full. Yeah, it's full. Yeah, so now it's time to mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. He goes to the temple, he brings them all, and then. Now, the priest who represents God will examine the land. He does not examine the offerer. It's obvious why he's there. He's sick. But the priest examines the land of blemishes. He has a beautiful picture of God. So, it's just going to cook for a little more. more. And our vegetable soup is ready, guys. Ready to eat. I can assure you, this is delicious, yummy, and hmm, the aroma in this place is something else. I started to put in some pepper soup seasoning just for the flavor, just a little bit. All right, guys, our soup. Our vegetable soup has been boiling for a while now and it is completely ready. I forgot to show you guys, I put in some palm oil just a little bit. I like to put in palm oil at the end so I don't use too much, just a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. I'm sure you will try this out and let me know how it goes. I'm sure it's going to come out delicious. Thank you once again for watching. I love you all and bye. Don't forget to please like share and subscribe have a blessed day love you all bye now it's time to make semolina semo semo semo